Philip 1 said, When the well is dry, we know the wolf of water. A very good morning to the honorable judges, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to talk on water, the fountain of life. Some of you may have been neglected by your mother for not drinking enough water. Each time you fell sick, your mother will conclude that your sickness was due to drinking insufficient water. When you were down with a fever, sore throat, or a flu, your mother would say, See, I told you to drink more water, but you would never listen. Now you're sick, huh? Well, such a remark may sound annoying. It does have a certain degree of truth in it. Members of the flock, we need water to sustain life. The human body is 70% of water. Water helps dissolve nutrients and render them absorbable by the body. It also provides the medium where life processes take place and when drainage occurs, lack of water will quickly show itself in the failure of bodily functions. Without water, our blood, lymph, and tissues cannot be kept clean, pure, and sweet. As we constantly lose water through perspiration, respiration, and excretion, we must therefore drink lots of water to avoid being dehydrated. If you are bored with plain water, an occasional ice lemon tea or hundred plus will access to your life. Water is one of the great wonders of life. It is soft but it can penetrate the hardest rocks. It has no bones, yet it can support mega ships. It also fills the earth with beauty and wonders. It creates golden sunsets and colorful rainbows. The Egyptians worship the Nile, and the Hindus regard the Ganges as sacred. As fountains bubble and rivers run, we must learn to treasure water, which is God's precious gift to mankind. Without water, life on earth would cease to exist. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, water is our fountain of life. It gives us nature in its diversity, health and beauty. Thank you.